Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting video for tutorial. Today I got a pretty quick lesson for you guys. I'm going to explain what nesting a sequence is and show you how to do it. So as you can see on my timeline, I have two different layers. One is a text layer and one is the bridge that you see behind the text layer. They are two completely separate layers. I can move one around so that it comes in later. I can scale one up and they act completely separate from each other. But say I want both to act as one single clip. So if I scale up on the bridge shot, it also scales up on the text as well. Right now it's not going to do that because they're two separate clips. So a way to make them both one clip would be to nest them, which is basically the same thing as pre-composing and After Effects. When you nest clips, it takes those two clips and basically combines them into one clip. So to do this, you select the clips you want to nest. So I want to nest these two, so I select them both, right click, and go up to where it says nest. You click it, you name it, video fort is awesome, and you press OK. So now both clips will act as one single clip. So if I want to scale up, I go over to motion, increase the scale, and everything scales up. I move it down, up, both the text and the shot move with it. Say I want to edit just the bridge shot and not the title after I've nested the two clips together. Basically when you nest, it takes those two clips and creates a new sequence with those two clips in it, and then it replaces those two clips in your timeline with that sequence. So I can now go to that sequence by either double clicking the nested sequence inside of the timeline, or if you look over here, it created that new sequence for you. So I'm going to double click, and it's going to open up the new sequence. So here's here's my timeline with the nested sequence. And here is the video fort is awesome nested sequence. So let's say I want to add a tint to the bridge shot, but not to the title. So since I'm now inside of the nested sequence, I come over here. I get my tint. Let's make it red. So now only the bridge shot is affected, and I go back here, and now it's only the bridge shot. Whereas if I do the same thing to the nested sequence, it affects both of them. Nested sequences can be a pretty helpful tool, and I use them a lot when I edit. Anyways, thanks for watching another exciting video for tutorial. Check back in next week for more tutorials on After Effects and Premiere Pro. Thanks again.